What if you could step inside a video and explore it from any angle? Yeah, with Gaussian splatting, you can basically capture whatever you want. It comes with a number of challenges. No standard format exists, no codex, no infrastructure, nothing. Our rig is actually very, very unique. This is ultimately because of the unlimited angles that you can later view in VR as well. This is a real volumetric performance captured, processed and played with photorealistic results that you can experience as if you were really there. In today's episodes, we go deep with two of the pioneers shaping the future of immersive 4D media. Leonard Wolf, former Senior Technical Director at Synthesia and now the CEO of Adventury XR, a London-based startup revolutionizing corporate learning through photorealistic immersive experiences. We, we don't want to make any sacrifices to resolution. That's been like very much from the onset. We were like, if we're going to do this, we're going to try and do the best possible. And Georgi Wisowski, the co-founder and CEO of Gresha AI, a deep tech company specializing in the visualization and distribution of Gaussian splatting with a focus on VR. They have joined forces to reveal the behind the scene reality of building on the bleeding edge of volumetric capture and the future of immersive content. Processing also really dependent on the way the capturing is done. That's why I would never commit to a particular project without getting somehow involved into capturing right at the moment. We'll cover everything from the capture rigs and rendering pipelines. So we have 78 cameras within our rig and around just under 300 lights. We can capture up to like 300 terabytes of data in a in a 30-minute capture session. To the real challenges of compression, streaming, and what comes next. For Gracia, like XR devices remain like the major focus at the moment. The file size of a volumetric video currently starts from one and a half gigabytes per minute, which is really close to streaming, but it's still not there. So let's dive into the conversation and explore what happens when Gaussian splatting goes 4D. 